My name is Jason Suggett and today I'd like to talk a little bit about the Aerobica device, clinical evidence, the benefits of the device and some new research we're just publishing. So first off, the clinical evidence about the Aerobica device. What we've shown through peer-reviewed and published journal articles is firstly that we saw a significant 27% reduction in COPD re-exacerbations within 30 days. Along with that, we also showed significant cost savings through post-exacerbation care using the Aerobica device. And in prior publications, we showed improvement in quality of life, improvement in lung capacity, and also improvement in lung ventilation. In terms of the device itself, this is an oscillating positive expiratory pressure device, an OPEP device. So the device itself opens up the airways and provides pressure pulses to loosen mucus and mobilize it for expiration. The aerobic device has a unique function, an oscillating valve, um, very efficient, very effective in the way it works and produces its own proprietary waveform. Some research we're just publishing at CHESS this week um, looks at the waveform that you get from the Aerobica device. You can see here, this is our pressure against time. So when you exhale into the device, you get these oscillations, pressure pulses, throughout the um, expiratory breath. So with the Aerobica device, you can see almost from immediately until the end of the exhalation, you get these large oscillations. And it's those oscillations that open up the airway, break down the mucus so it can be coughed up. What we found is that we used a, a new term called the to total pressure pulse impact factor, so the TPPI. The TPPI enables you to assess each OPEP device and look at the effectiveness of the device, basically looking at the impact of all of these oscillations in terms of their quantitative magnitude. And the research that we've just published this week showed that the Aerobica device had at least double the performance in TPPI versus the next best OPEP device. So what's clear from the results of this TPPI assessment, looking at the clinical effectiveness and efficiency of these devices, is that the waveforms are completely different between different OPEP devices. So when you're considering which device to use for a clinical setting, then it's important to understand that these devices are not interchangeable. The waveforms are different, they work in different ways, and each device should demonstrate its clinical effectiveness through clinical studies for each device separately.